Before tapping, always check the content of the carton to ensure it is complete. It is essential that you read the user information in the carton. Always use a standard detergent to clean the section of pipe that you want to tap before mounting the EV tapping fittings. Place the adapter and the chambered o-ring on the side on the soffit. Then bend the stainless steel retaining strap over the pipe and clip it into the top openings of the adapter with the hemisphere and nuts. Then tighten the nuts evenly with a wrench. Screw the EVE flushing piece to the outlet side of the valve. This ensures that the tapping chips are rinsed out in a controlled manner during the tapping process. Move the ball valve in the flushing piece to open. The flushing piece has a GECA coupling which allows hoses to be connected very quickly. Mount the flushing hose with the GECA coupling to the flushing piece. Screw the EVE tapping device with the left-handed thread in an anti-clockwise direction to the valve housing and tighten with the tapping wrench. The suitable tapping bit is already mounted to the tapping rod of the EVE tapping device. Now unlock the tapping rod using the tapping wrench and carefully feed the tapping rod downwards until the tapping head connects to the soffit. Once in place, lock the tapping rod into position again. Place the ratchet onto the square of the tapping rod of the tapping device. At the same time, insert the tapping wrench into the holder of the feed. At the start of the tapping process, use the ratchet to turn the tapping rod. The tapping wrench ensures the required feed and the associated lowering of the tapping unit. Please ensure that very little feed is given to guarantee clean tapping results. The pipe tapping process is completed as soon as the tapping rod and feed can be turned freely. The chips created during tapping flow through the flushing piece and the connected flushing pipe together with the medium from the tapped hole. After the end of the tapping process, carefully release the tapping rod from the feed drum. Caution is required here because the water pressure can eject the tapping rod upwards quickly. Once the tapping rod has fully emerged, affix the lock again with a tapping wrench. Close the flushing piece at the outlet of the housing using the green lever. Turn the ball valve in a clockwise direction so that the PTFE piston of the flushing fittings slides into the tapping fittings housing via the tapped hole. This acts like an auxiliary cutoff and allows the tapping device to be dismantled. Remove the flushing hose from the flushing fittings. Remove the tapping device from the tapping fittings with the tapping wrench by turning in a clockwise direction. To position the EVE tapping hole sealing sleeve, lock the tapping hole sealing sleeve into both the brass and also the stainless steel holder of the tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device by slightly turning the inner stainless steel sleeve until you clearly feel it click into place. The outer spindle of the setting device is brought into the upper position with a mounted tapping hole sealing sleeve. Mount the tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device to the valve housing by turning the left-handed thread in an anti-clockwise direction using the tapping device wrench. To release the tapping hole, turn the ball valve of the flushing fittings in an anti-clockwise direction until the piston of the flushing fittings is retracted. The tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device is now under pressure. Then move the actuator of the tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device. 
the water pressure will automatically move the guide rod downwards until the sealing sleeve sits on the fine thread of the valve housing. You will not see this happen. Then place the tapping wrench into the designated socket holder, which is located above the tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device, and turn it in a clockwise direction until it reaches the stopper. Now the tapping hole sealing sleeve is in place. Turn the ball valve of the flushing fittings in a clockwise direction until the PTFE piston seals the tapping hole again. Remove the tapping hole sealing sleeve setting device from the tapping fittings by turning in a clockwise direction. Attach the upper part of the valve, which also has a left-handed thread in the valve housing. To create the media supply, unscrew the ball valve in the flushing fittings up to the stopper and place the tapping device wrench onto the square of the spindle in the upper part. Turn the square spindle until the shut-off is pressed into the seat of the housing to guarantee that the tapping hole is sealed. Remove the flushing fittings and mount the PE welding sockets or any other outlet to the outlet of the valve casing. To fit the telescope fittings, remove the sand disc from the socket in the fittings. Place it onto the matching holder on the upper part of the valve and twist to lock it into position. Place the connecting square of the telescope fittings onto the square of the valve and lock into position by inserting a stainless steel pin. In a final step, Feed the PE socket of the sleeve downwards over the telescope fittings until it clicks into position on the sand disc. Now you can open and close the valve tapping fittings using the installed fittings.